Marcia Brown. I'm going to talk about Paul Valle, the inventor of smokeless powder or gunpowder. He's a French chemist born in Paris, 1854, and died at the age of 80, also in Paris. He's known for stabilizing nitrocellulose or otherwise known as gun cotton. He stabilized gun cotton to replace black powder. What is black powder? Well, it's gunpowder. One of the earliest known chemical explosives made of sulfur, charcoal, and potassium nitrate. So a little about nitrocellulose. Cellulose, uh, they're long chains of glucose, and it forms the fibers or the long strands of the cotton. Nitro, what makes it nitro cellulose is you soak the cotton in a sulfuric and nitric acid solution, you rinse with water, you let it dry, the acid bath changes the structure of the cellulose, binding more oxygen to it. And as we know, oxygen, combustion, best friends. And the story goes, it's a French chemist in 1846 discovered nitrocellulose by accident. While the wife was away, he was doing uh, some experiments in the kitchen, spilled sulfuric and nitric acid on the table, cleaned it up with a cotton apron, and then dried it over the stove. Well, it ignited and pretty much just burst into flames and went out instantaneously. Hardly any ash, hardly any smoke, so he knew he was onto something pretty amazing. The gun cotton's unstable, but it's more powerful, six times more powerful than black powder, so he's onto something pretty amazing. In 1884, Valle, uh, made up more stable um, form of it. He called it powder, initially called powder V, but then it was kind of turned into powder B um, due to the name. It was um, Blanche Poudre. <laughs> um, so a little bit about black powder, gun cotton, and then powder B. Black powder, it's an explosive. Uh, it creates a cloud of smoke. Um, because more than half of it, 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 it stays behind as residue. So there's a lot of ash on the firearm, which can, uh, you know, jam the firearm, which can also, uh, is the reason for the cloud of smoke, which can be dangerous for any soldier using, um, that type of ammunition. Gun cotton, on the other hand, a lot less smoke, um, but it's unstable. And then finally we have powder B, it's low residue, which means there's very little smoke, very little ash. So there's less cleaning on the weapon, less jamming. It's more powerful and it's more stable. So um, one of the first firearms to adopt powder B is the eight millimeter LaBelle M1886 rifle. Uh, it's one of the first military cartridges to use powder B. Um, what's really cool is that it has an eight round magazine in the barrel. You can fit eight in here. Uh, it's like there's an elevator here and it goes down here. And then when you need it, it comes up the elevator and then out. So I wanted to show it to you in action. Just real quick. And I also wanted to show you how gunless, or excuse me, smokeless gunpowder is not an explosive, but it is so much more powerful. Um, when it's kept in a small container, it acts as an explosive, such as in a gun barrel or unfortunately pipe bomb. Pipe bombs are, are made with smokeless gunpowder. Some are. In this video, I wanna show you um, these two crazy guys <laughs> fill this muzzle loader with smokeless powder. The gun is not designed for that. The gun is designed for regular black powder. So they wanted to show you how dangerous it can be if you accidentally put the wrong powder in it. And as you can see at the point of combustion, it just ripped apart this firearm. So how do you tie it into the classroom? Well, this is 
a lot what chemists can do. It's very interesting. I had so much fun looking up this information. I don't know how this couldn't interest the kids. <laughs> Here's some references, and if you want an amazing, funny video uh, showing Captain Kirk making a cannon out of things around him in the on this planet that he was trapped on. Funny stuff, guys. Thank you.